Hello everyone. Today we will see one of the useful functions of Azure Text Analytics, which is sentiment analysis. And for those who are not aware, Azure Text Analytics is a cloud-based offering from the Microsoft and it provides NLP over raw text. And the use case which I'm going to discuss today is very simple and I hope it would be very easy for you to understand and relate. So my use case is about uh, you can take any manufacturer where he has recently launched a new product and very much interested in knowing how or what the response from the market. So whether people are liking it or they are not liking it at all. So we just want to collect those reviews and plot it in some of chart so that he can see and decide whether he wants to continue with this product or not. So for customer reviews, I have taken a CSV file which is having all these details. And the same CSV file will be input for this particular service, which is your cognitive analysis or cognitive services text analytics. And the output of this service will be utilized to plot the dashboards or to create any sort of charts. So for this entire flow, I will be using Python as a programming language and will show you how we can do it step by step. I am on my VS code and you can go to view command palette and create a new Jupyter notebook. And once you are there, you can start writing the code. So the very first step which we are doing is reading the CSV file. So for reading the CSV file, we need to import CSV module. And here I'm taking the list in which we will collect all the reviews separated by dot. So these three lines are just for reading the CSV file and uh, we are opening it in a read mode and mentioning the encoding because sometimes it is not automatically picking it up and here the one important thing is the counter and as of now i'm reading only nine records and we'll explain you later why i'm going only with nine but the point here is uh, i'm reading the csv file which is having nine records and pushing in into this list feedbacks and each and every review is separated by a dot next thing is we need to get the key and the end point. So for getting the key and the end point, we need to go to the Azure portal, log in there and create a new resource of text analytics. Click on create and it will open up a new panel wherein you can pop populate all these basic information resource group, region, the name of the instance, pricing tier, whatever you want to choose and just accept this legal a notice and just click on create review and create so once it is done you will get your text analytics resource ready and it would look something like this so under keys and the endpoint you will you can click on the keys and the endpoint on the left hand side and grab the keys from here so i'm copying it here and similarly i'm grabbing the endpoint which is at the last Okay, so we are done with the endpoint and the key. Next thing is we need to import the required Azure modules. So for importing this, you need to fire the terminal first and start typing the command pip install and the name of the library, which is ai.textanalytics. So as soon as you will click on, you will press enter, it will start installing the package for this particular notebook. Okay, so for me, it is already installed. That's why you can see it is saying requirement already satisfied. So this is how you can install the package. And once package is installed, it will allow you to add these modules over here. Next thing is we need to create, create the client object, uh, which will take endpoint and the key. Once it is done, the important line is this one, wherein we need to call the Analyze sentiment API and will give feedbacks list as a input parameter to this function. Next thing I'm doing is I need to make a count that how many reviews were positive, how many were negative and how many were neutral. So for that, I'm creating an anonymous object review. So this is how we used to create. We need not to provide any class name or anything, rather just provide the properties what we are looking for. So I have created a anonymous type object review which will have three properties positive negative and neutral and next simply we will just iterate through the response 
and we'll check if sentiment is positive then increment my positive count by one if it is negative increment my negative count by one and same for the neutral so till here let's go ahead and run it this is done i will quickly run this one and this one so you can see that there are nine sentences which i have picked and like most of them were positive one is negative and another one is neutral and before that i can also show you the csv file which i am taking as an input so here this is the id this is the name of the item which was sold this is the manufacturer name and this is the category electronics ipad and all those this column is the review date here is the descriptive review and here is the title so basically i picked this particular column wherein i can read and analyze what's going in market okay so we are good here next we need is to plot so for plotting i am importing this particular module matplotlib and for that if it is not already available similarly you can go ahead and install using pip it is command would be pip install matplotlib and once it is imported, we need to create the figure and we need to define the x-axis. So x, y, height and the width. Next, we need to define what would be your x values, x-axis values. So I want to show positive, negative and neutral. And for y values, I want to show the counts of these particular three things. And the last line, we just need to call, we just need to plot the bar charts. So x dot bar pass in these two values there are other parameters also which this function takes but we can simply ignore it we will go with the default values for this one so let's run it and see how things behave perfect so here you can see that out of nine reviews seven were positive one is negative and one is neutral so by looking at this chart any manufacturer can analyze and see that what should be his next step so this is what I have and one thing which missed is the counter. The reason why I took only 9 records is because there is a limitation of this particular API and you can have a look on the Microsoft documentation itself so that I mean here it mentions that you should not go beyond 5120 characters and if you want to go for 125k characters then you can use this particular analyze endpoint. So this is how and let's say if your document is too big that in that case you need to create it create chunks of the text and need to parse them and then you can combine those results to show a single chart. So that's all I have for today and hope you enjoyed learning this new thing. Thanks for watching.